Well, good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. This is Sharon Rankin, and uh, tonight I'm zooming in from Prescott, Arizona, and we're delighted that you all are joining. Dave and I have been on a West trip post Juice Plus Live and seeing some things that we've never seen, so that's the gift of this business that allows us to do that. So thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, every time we come, each week when we come together, it is about our greater mission, which is the inspiring healthy living around the world and every time we're sharing our story or inviting people to come on along we are doing that shining the light for help and hope and i even i'll just remind everybody before we even get started that people are out there praying for an answer for their health concerns and their financial challenges and we have an answer so be mindful of that and this is the mission possible team uh, we are a growing team of inspired individuals Definitely ambassadors and agents dedicated to change. So thank you so much for whatever time of day you're, you're joining in from, for being here, for taking time out of your day. And tonight, uh, we want to focus more and have more conversation on the digital transformation and make sure that people are comfortable and as competent on a few basic things and focus on what we can do right now. There are many challenges and and glitches within the system. The company is aware of it. All the leaders are aware of it. If you're having a glitch, you're not the only one. All of us are, are working on a few things. So don't be, don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't hesitate to reach out to a leader. We're all learning this together. So I'm just encouraging patience and mindset. And our mindsets will make the difference in our day and how we deal with things. So we wanna focus on what we can do and one of the things that we are, we are going to do before I talk about digital, uh, before I even go into the digital transformation, is for the next three weeks, starting today through October the 14th, that's three weeks, we're going to, it's a change of season, it's time to focus on some fun things, we're going to do a post-conference bingo, and this, we will get this posted in the Boxer chat. This will also be posted in the Facebook group. You can go there, you can print it off, but we're gonna encourage you to cover all and we're gonna have some fun recognition with this on the 14th of October. These are all things that we can do right now to uh, really focus on what we do have control of and what is possible. So we're gonna celebrate, we're going to um, place a new customer order, we're gonna invite 10 people, it could be to a recorded event or an online event, anything, share a call and upline and share your goals. You can see that there. It will post this post. We'll, I'll post this immediately after this call in the Boxer chat and on our Facebook group. So that is one thing that we can focus on. And I'm going to share one other picture with you here just real quickly is this was announced at the conference starting in September, ending uh, the end of February is some special, the company is loving to do some little challenges right now where you get special recognition. A lot of recognition is happening within our community and also some extra prizes. So for each month that you enroll three new customers, it could be any kind of product, and you have a new partner with a recurring order, um, then you will qualify for an additional $50. As you can see, if you do it two months or more, three months or more, it just compounds. If somebody would choose to do this and focus on this for the next six months, it would be well over $1,000 in cash and prizes. And that mystery surprises, I don't know what that could be. It could be a trip, it could be airline, it could be anything. So we'll get this posted as well. But I guess this is something that was announced at the conference. It's in the hub. The details are in the hub. But um, I just want to encourage you to set a goal. Set a goal. Maybe it's not here in September, but October, November, December, January, February. Set a goal to add three new customers and invite somebody to join your team and have them join your team. So that's two little things that we want to focus on that we have control of. Now, the first, the next question I want, we want to um, find out is, has everybody been able to activate or access their juiceplus.com account and their back office account? Those are the two things that I want to make sure that everybody has been able to do. 
And if you have it, I need you to reach out to me directly or into your, your national marketing director and let's figure it out. There is there's some step-by-step -step directions and Beth is gonna come in here and share with us if you haven't been able to do this, how you can do it. It's in the hub, exactly how to do it. And let me just say, Beth, and before you unmute, or you can go ahead and unmute. I don't wanna assume that everybody's gotten an email. I know the, cust the company said that the, we would all get emails, but that didn't necessarily happen. So don't assume that you're waiting for an email to come. You can go to juiceplus.com and you can activate your account. You can go to backoffice.juiceplus.com and activate your account. Beth, do you wanna share your screen? And here's the reason why I'm show we're showing you the hub. I'm sorry, Beth, I'm gonna get there in a minute. That's okay. Is, there's a saying in the scriptures, you can feed somebody or you can teach them how to fish. And what we wanna teach you right now is how to fish on the, rep on the information and education you need. Go ahead, Beth. Sure, well, the hub is just a wonderful uh, place to get answers to your questions and simply go to hub.juiceplus.com and then reset your password or forgot password. They'll ask you for your email address, send you an email with the link to go back to hub.juiceplus.com, create your account. In other words, open up your account with a, with a password and that password can be the same one for your juiceplus.com order your, where you place your own personal orders or um, and also the back office, the same email and the same password can be used for all of them, which is what I've done. And then when you go into the hub, if you go to the very top, it's so great because it actually shows you all different things that you can go to. But this is what I want to focus on right now. The training guides, they're wonderful. You just click on there and voila, look what you have here. You have everything that you need. Uh, new partner, My Juice Plus Hub, how to sign, how to use it, your um, my personal page, your reports, et cetera. One of the things you wanna know right away is how to create a cart for someone. And it's very, very, very simple how to share a cart with someone. So I'm gonna show you this right now. It's very simple. Everything they have on here is wonderful. But when you're sharing a cart, when someone says, um, I want to have, you told them you trained, you educated them, they want to have whatever kind of juice plus they want. You just go, it shows you how to do this. First thing you do is you go to juiceplus.com. You do not sign in to your own, to juiceplus.com website. You just go to juiceplus.com. Then you literally click on whatever product you want and literally go to the cart, right? So there's the carts up there. There's the cart and there's the juice plus, there's the juice plus product. Then you absolutely put your email address in here where you're gonna share the cart. You're gonna view the cart and then you're gonna share the cart. That's when you're gonna enter your email because that's gonna link it to you. And that's what you want for that. That, that customer is gonna have you or be the one that they're gonna get linked up with. It's critical. And then you create the, you create the link and then you copy the link and you literally then are able to, oh, if it says here's an example, if it says it's invalid, then we, there must be a typo, et cetera. But then you go from there and then you share the cart. You literally copy the link right here and you literally then just are able to do it by text, by email, however you want to share to share that cart. And then the, and the, what the customer does when they get in, when they go to that cart, it's going to say you are, sh they're shopping with your name. It's going to, your name's going to pop up. They're in your, it's in your account, whatever. And it's going to be your shopping with them. And then they can go ahead and at that point, they check out right there. It's so darn simple. It's wonderful. And you literally, it says, remember that you can either create a cart with one product only and select your preferred payment type for it. installments or full payment right here. You can make that change right there for installments, et cetera. Or you can add more than one product and for each select a different payment type. Now that's pretty complicated, but you can do it, which is great. All within the same cart, which is just incredible that we can do that. Everything's really, really, really simple. So it's very simple how you do it. And be sure, do not just go to juiceplus.com, get the, get the cart filled up, and then go ahead and share the cart. Hope that helps everybody. Thanks, Beth. You're welcome. Thank you. So Sally's actually going to come in and do that. 
for us is actually show you from her own office and her own website how to do it. So this is Sally. Thanks, Sally. Yeah. So this is just my juiceplus.com store. And so you, I'm not logging in. We don't do that. We hit shop and you can go to whatever products obviously you want. I'm going to go to chewables because I discovered something else yesterday and wanted to show you this because um, someone was asking me about this. So let's just go here. I'm going to do the fruit and vegetable blend. So obviously you can do whichever product that person is interested in. Let me shrink this so I can see everything. Okay, so purchase type um, is... Pouches. That? Yes. Okay, shipment amount pouches, but look what's here. <laughs> Pocket packs. So if you should need to order pocket packs and someone in our team, their customer needed pocket packs for whatever reason, we were looking and we finally found it. So just an FYI on that. Um, so normally you're getting the larger uh, pouches, pay per shipment. Most people are doing pay per month. It has been requested that they make that the default. Um, rather than the pay in full. But for now, we just click to that. Cre debit, credit card. They can also do, I haven't looked. They can do ACH debit, but we're just a debit credit card. Everybody's using that. Okay, then we add to cart. Then we view cart. loading and then we can share cart and that's where we put our email we create the link let me just click put that in we create the link and then we just copy the link and then you can put that in obviously a text a project broadcast an email uh, whatever is working to communicate with that person. Pretty simple. I asked about the healthy search for families. Could you zip back in and show that, Sally? Or it's um, a, it's very uh, simple. It's the hub tells you exactly how to do it. There's an actually one that it shows exactly how to do okay. that. Okay, good. Yeah, why don't we just save time and yeah. okay, go super. there? But it's mm -hmm. right there. Very simple. I went to it earlier this evening. Yeah. It's very, very ABC. It's done. It's really easy. But when you do do a healthy starts, you will need the name of the child. Right. You will need the this the information that you've always needed to put in there. Okay. All right. Hope that was clear, everybody. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot. The magic button. Was BJ going to do the magic button? Well, right? she she is. I, I want to make, and I'm going to have her do that in just a minute. The magic oh, okay. button. We found something. BJ taught us something today because we're all learning together. That's why it's important to stay connected. But you may have heard, maybe some of you have had people ask about renewals. It's time to renew, or some of your people need to renew. At this current time, there's no renewal button. So what you will do and you will direct people to, to do is just go to where it says join. Join as a partner. Click on that. It will seem like you're joining the first time, but actually you are renewing. And that will pick up your information as well. So just be clear on that. There is not a specific place to renew, but it is join. Just whatever it says there on our website, on our site. And then you've also heard the language landing page, landing page. And this has taken a little bit of a, a little time for some of us to figure this out. But it's it's I guess it's a refresh of language in the tech world. But uh, it's what we commonly knew as our website. We called my website is share my name just in all of you, unless you're paying for a special website is your name, your first name dot or period, 
your last name dot juice no, plus no period right no. okay full name. full name right okay <laughs> used to be sharing rankin dot juice plus dot com is your landing page this is where you want to send people prospects when you want them to shop when you want them to check out the orders when you are to check out the resources or check out the products or see the research to your own it's your landing page is what we commonly call for years was our website but they're using the terminology landing page so you will see that in the hub so not to be confused it is the place that you want to send prospects not to juiceplus.com do not send them to juiceplus.com send them to your landing page mm -hmm. trying to go as slow as possible on some of this so somebody help me if we're not that's being perfect. clear that's perfect Okay, then um, we found, uh, BJ found something called the purple, we call it the purple button or the magic button. And you might have seen it on Sally's screen when I saw it when Sally had it pulled up. Yeah. Yes, Mark, what's your question? Unmute and ask your question. When you said the landing page has your full name, my landing page has always had M. Waldorf. Do I have to change that to Mark? No, no, no. If that's how it's always been, that's the way it should be. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Are you sure? Are, are you sure? I would double check that, would, Mark. Not, you I need think it to went, double check yeah. it. Right. Oh, yeah. I would, yeah. We, we okay. can check that. Sharon Moore, you have a question? I do. Um, I'm struggling here with trying to get customers. I finally got a customer the week of the big change. Um, so she went in through my landing page and placed her order. And she did get a confirmation that her order had been received. And that was on the 13th of September. And neither one of us have heard anything since. Did I do it right or, or is it just slow? I, I think you did it exactly right. A plus, congratulations. Uh, but we've been told that the, the Shipping is about two weeks behind schedule. We've been so spoiled over the years where the shipping went out the next day. But right now with the old data, the company, the data team is having to go through order by order to make sure that people don't get orders they shouldn't get and people are getting orders that they should. So it should be, you know, I know. And if you had any product, and again, if you sign somebody up, if anybody has any product, I'd give them a week's worth. Give them a couple of weeks worth if you could. I would recommend that having a little extra on hand for sure. But good question, Sharon. Second, the second thing was I personally received, I delayed my order, my personal order uh, until August because I was away for the month of July. And it arrived on um, August the 13th. And then two weeks later, I got the order again. So I'm trying to get the credit back for that. Yeah, and they will do that. We know that that happened a few times and they will they will credit. Okay, yeah. well, I'm not doodles till December. So I have yeah. other product. Okay, cool. You have okay. a number to call? Do you know the number to call? To, I've to... called, I've emailed. Okay. okay, good. I can, I'm just gonna try to be patient. <laughs> I appreciate that. We all appreciate that. That's what the name of the game is right now. Okay, DJ. Purple button. The purple button. I have to give Carol Bastion credit for this because she found the purple button and shared it with me, but I'm sharing it with you this evening. I'm going to share my screen and you will see that this, oop, get that out of the way. This is my customer page. It has my name up here, but the purple button is right here. And if you go and you haven't set up your page, the purple button is there as well. But the, what we were concerned about is when you click on your name and you're looking at your account and you're checking to see if everything has been downloaded into your system. These are like, all, if you look at your order history, you'll see all your current paid orders. Okay, your history is here. But a couple of people have experienced that when they went to view their current subscriptions, they would click here and this is where they should all come up. There was nothing there. 
And Carol was experiencing that. And she was trying to figure this out, why her current orders were there. So she clicked the magic button. See this right here? You click it. And this is AI generated. So it's a question and answer. But what it does, if you're looking to track or manage your orders, this is here. So you can see where your orders are. They've been delivered and you can see that there's more here. So I can check here to look at that for that information. I can leave a message if I have a question and then whoop, where'd it go? Click again, let me go back, I did that wrong. If you want to return an order, you would click here. And what this will do is ask you a lot of questions, what you're going to be returning and you can work with the system there. And then if you just want to leave a message, you can click here and leave a message because you're looking for, you know, your subscription orders. And what Carol found is that she had used an old email that was not transferring over. She had her new email for most of her orders and we thought we had that covered, but when it came to part of other orders or her uh, office, it still had the old email for the health of it and that had not transferred over. So there's just a couple of little things that possibly need to be corrected. And once she pushed the button and asked the question, she had she asked for customer service or for a live person to talk with her and help answer her questions. Let me do this back again so you can see all this. And they responded within a few minutes. You know, we've been sometimes waiting a little bit longer than that, but they responded immediately. She shared what her concerns was. They they found the issue and got it corrected. So um, there's still a couple other things, but if you have a question, this is what we call the magic purple button and you can get some help very quickly. All right, Does that answer everybody, Does that help? That's helpful. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. There we go. All right. Any other questions that somebody might have? Because there's no bad questions. It might be that somebody else has the same question. That's true. Yes, Judy. Judy unmute. I was calling a customer on Saturday uh, just to check. I had sent them information about setting up their account, and it just happened they, they were setting it up because I'd sent a message earlier, and I was just double-checking. And they were setting it up, and all of a sudden, his wife, he was doing it, and she says to me, she says, it says uh, full price, uh, 700 and some dollars. Should we... Should we uh, click this and I said oh no 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 don't click that so I'm glad Sally showed us tonight that there's options there to play monthly I guess it was just showing a full amount and they yeah. didn't know what to do and I didn't know what to do either so I said just don't do anything I'll let you know <laughs> and let me just say that's a default right now and I saw in the digital chat today they're affirming that we don't want that that full price out there. We want the installment, the monthly installment mm -hmm. price. They're working on it. It wasn't okay. something that they could have when they go live, but good point. And I appreciate that, Judy, because I'm sure other people have seen the full price and it's probably, you know, well, Here's what is this? But if you mm -hmm. click on subscription, if you just click on the button like Sally showed you, it'll drop down. And um, my thing is, I just, I'm a clicker. I just start clicking around and I don't think we can mess up anything really. Um, I don't think, but that's how we learn. That's how we'll learn is just click on a few mm -hmm. shot things here or there. So, mm -hmm. but good question. Thanks, Judy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Beth. One thing I think is important to remember is the verbiage. We're not setting up accounts. We are activating our accounts. And so we talk to our customers. We're going to add your, all the information is already in the system. They just need to activate their account. And it's not, in, not setting up anything new. It's just activating. And there's that, as you know, that button to click on that says activate and it goes very well, very smoothly. Thanks, Beth. So there's probably more, but you know what? We don't need to be in overload. The top three things we need to do is activate our accounts, 
set up carts, create and share a cart, know about renewals and be able to get into your back office. And then we'll go from there as we learn more on back office. Yes, Mark. I set up my landing page and created a password for that. I was successful in doing that. And then I get distracted with something else. And I'm not sure I can refind my password. Is it easier <laughs> to empty my desk and find my old password or just set up a new password? I don't know. Um, actually, Mark, you, you want, there are three websites that need a password. I understand Landing that part. does not have a password. I, three, I there's three, and you use the same email and password, then you don't have to try to remember anything. Okay, I set up one of my, the one where I could purchase things, I set that one yeah. up. That's Good. the juiceplus.com. For simplicity's I sake, set just go up yet, and I yeah. don't know what my password is. You can always reset it, very simple. Yeah. yeah. I okay. think you can, yeah, reset it. And I would use the same password for all three. Yes, sites. exactly. Mm -hmm. And when you get to one site, I'll ask you to put a capital in one. Um, I don't remember which one it is. So use a capital and maybe a number to just make it uh, something generic, but something that you can remember for all three and make the same password for all. That way you and then I would write it down. And write it down. <laughs> yes, write it down where I can find it. Yes. yes, Beth will have to say. Can I drink another luminate? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, We're going to get Judy. through all yeah. this. Okay, Judy and then Mary Barton. Um, do they know how soon they're going to be, you know, like for us old people, we that have been on forever, you know, I have a GoDaddy thing. You know, I don't have my name in mine at all. And so it's wrong on my cards. So are we going to get... I, I cannot, I haven't, I don't even know the answer. To, oh, Sally, you do? Well, let me just say, mine works fine. JPSally.com goes right to my to my landing page. No, I'm talking about, I have one. Mine's Whole Food and Capsules. Yeah, you? exactly. It, it, that, all that is is a pointer. And unless GoDaddy has mixed up something, but my hosting site, my yeah. mine is going to my Our, website. Yeah. Mine does not. I purchased mine through GoDaddy and I, I tried to pull up mine is just just fruits and veggies .com, and it's not there. So you probably have to go into GoDaddy. Right. Oh, and then okay. reestablish the pointer to you know your Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, Mary. I have a question. Um a customer called me today and she does not have a computer. She does not activate accounts online. She's elderly. She's been a customer for as long as I've been a partner. And she does not have a smartphone. So can I activate an account? Do, do I need to have an account activated for her? Um, she has always had them uh, draw a check to pay for hers. She doesn't use credit cards. <laughs> She's very old school. Um, and so I'm having trouble navigating this for her. Not sure what to do. And Call the and company I, together with her. Call the company together with her if yeah. you have to make a change. Only if you have to make a change. Wouldn't you say that, Sharon? Yes. I would if you if you can three-way her in, mm -hmm. I would do that. Um, I do know that I've heard several national marketing directors talk about, do they have a, a, a child? Do they have a grandchild? Do they have somebody that could help them with that? Uh, sometimes I have to go to somebody else to help me with a few things mm -hmm. on that, things like that. But if she doesn't, mm -hmm. if she's not having somebody that can help her manage an account, then Mary, you can, you can three-way her into mm -hmm. customer care. Only if she needs to make a change. Only if she needs to make a change. But how about activating her account? It doesn't I, matter. I, I, don't worry about it. Okay. No, as far as I know at this point, unless that'll change. Okay. Thank and you. just to let everybody know that until the end of the month, that, that we know of anyways, the end of September, customer service is able to make changes via our request in a customer's account, not a credit card, 
But if we need to delay a shipment or if we need to cancel something or whatever, they are have been authorized to do that because the waits are so long. No customer can, you know, we don't want customers to have to do that. So what I've been doing is getting on hold, working while I'm waiting. <laughs> when I get them, then they have been able um, to make some uh, basic changes to the customer's account to keep people happy. So, but that's only until the end of September, we believe. Until things get caught up and the wait times aren't so long and all that. Okay. And I just want to thank you, everybody. Thank you, leaders. And thank you for all the questions. There's no bad questions. So each week in the next few weeks, we're going to focus on two or three things that we can control, that we can learn, that we can adopt. But to, the most important thing is, is to activate your accounts. The most important is um, to activate your juiceplus.com, your back office juice plus and your hub. Those are the three accounts and the same password on all three of them for sure. And if you need some help, I've been able to walk some people and I know other leaders too have walked some people through on the phone, um, have them get on their computer. I can have you get on your computer and I can, we can walk you through that if you need to do that. And so all I do is go to the hub, follow the instructions and walk people through. So. I thank everybody for, you know, we're all in this together. We have the most amazing product in the world. And BJ reminded us this morning um, just how antiquated our old system was. It's, it was an old, old computer system and it was time for a change. Nobody was willing to take this on. And yes, there's some pain or a little bit of challenges in this, but we will get through this. But unless if we don't have a good mindset, if we just throw our hands up, we might not. But I, for one, I'm going to stay the course and know that I have the best product in the world, that people need what we have. And they are looking for what we have. So we want to be out there shining the light. I'm going to put out the, the bingo boxer, the bingo thing in the boxer and Facebook group. Guys, let's go out there and focus on what we can do. And that's loving on people, having conversations, posting, having fun, and being a light for health. That's what we are called to do. I love you all. We'll see you next Monday night. Everybody have a great, great week. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Safe travels. Thanks, everybody.